What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Johnny coming at you. Happy Friday guys. We made it to the weekend. Coming to you, coming to you with some TTM returns. As most of you know, if, if you don't, it stands for Through the Mail Autographs. I send out lots of uh, requests a week for athletes autograph. Baseball heavy. We're doing a, a lot more 90s uh, focusing uh, for the end of the year contest that we're doing. So uh, sit right back guys. Relax. And let's see who we got. All right, first one coming out of Arizona. Phoenix, that is. Four of four, zero fee, 17 days. Not too long at all to get Mr. Bo Allard. No, I'm sorry. Bo Allred on a 1990 score. Gave us some blue ink there. Kind of pops on that orange background, so that's definitely a point for the end of the year contest also give us some blue ink on the 91 rookie prospect scorecard 91 um fleer and also which is the lovely yellow background which everyone loves so a lot of people hate this background which growing up i did too you know they flooded the industry with them but you can't tell me the blue ink doesn't make it look a little bit better Anyways, and then we got a 91 upper deck. So, Cleveland Indians look like most of his career. So, thank you, Mr. Allred, for your autograph. All right, moving along. Come out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, St. Petersburg, 3-3 three three success, zero fee, seven days. A quick one, not about a week. Nice to get Mr. Jerry Reed. Sorry, buddy. Jerry Reed on a 90 Fleer. Give us some blue ink. Pitcher for Boston. So that's definitely a point for the end of the year. So that's point number two. Another 91 Fleer. Building that set. And of course, shout out to Brandon Stebbins on our 90 Donners. Give us some blue ink. We all know that he loves that set and probably got more of these autographs than anyone that we know. So very cool. So thank you, sir, for your autograph. Let's put that 90s up there and then we'll put that one up there. Why not? All right. No, we don't want to get too greedy here. We got we got a couple of more envelopes here. Here's South Jersey. Five of five success. Thirty days. Zero fee. Who'd we get here, guys? All right. For the Cardinals, Milk Thompson on a 1990 Bowman card. That's a pretty solid uh, autograph on a 90 upper deck. On a 1991 upper deck. Kind of blends in with that blue background on the 91 score. And we also got one on a 1993 upper deck. Mr. Milt Thompson, sir, thank you for your autograph. We'll put that Bowman up there. That looks nice. And that's definitely another point for the end of the year. So three for three. Not too shabby. Very cool. All right, guys, we got two more. And this last one, guys, I am super excited to share with you. I'm so excited. Um, San Francisco, California. 101 success, guys. Zero fee, 56 days to get. Oh, it looks like he answered a question. Okay, on our 1980 Tops Future Stars, Mr. Sandy Whittle. Is that what is that? Whittall? Pitcher for, um, who is that, Cleveland, I guess? Yeah, the Indians. And answered a question, I asked him who's his favorite uh, catcher was. He said Bo Diaz, which he was a Cincinnati Red. So that must be Reds. Yeah, Bo Diaz played for the Reds. So cool. All right, for the Reds. And last but definitely not least, guys, I am excited to show you this one. This is probably one of my favorite returns to date. I have gotten this guy before, but there's many reasons I like it. The fact that this man still signs autographs. Coming out of Provo, Utah. Didn't make the major leagues. Uh, I mean, didn't make the major leagues. He played for the major leagues for like 17 years. Didn't make the Hall of Fame. But he's one of the great Pirates. Played for the Pirates his whole career. Um, 
Like I said, respect to this man. Mr. Vernon Law, check it out. Two or two success, $10 uh, per in only eight days. God bless you, sir, for taking the time, guys. We're losing great baseball players and TTMers by the day. So I wanted to share this one is my oldest return, meaning my oldest card that I have signed. And look at all this time that he spent writing notes to me. This is amazing. Guys, look at this. 1951 Vernon Law rookie card. Look at that. Bowman, isn't it? 91, I mean 51 Bowman. Vernon Law, he was born in 1930. Look at that, guys. Gave us some blue ink. Pittsburgh Pirates, 1950 to 1967. That is a beautiful card. I picked this up for like $10 at the last card show I went to. And I knew he's still signing. Probably the last time I'll get his autograph because I don't want to bother the man. But I got his rookie signed, and it's nice. Also, check out. That's right. Got the other one signed, guys. Very nice. I think this is a 50, uh, what is this, guys, a 55? Vernon Law, he put Cy Young and World Series champs. 1960, two-time All-Star, comeback player of the year, Lou Gehrig's award in 1965. Man, what, look at that. Look at his handwriting. Look how great he, you know how much mail this guy gets, and he just took the time. You know how many people that don't even, Take their time for their autograph. And look at what else he did. He put, look at this. He inscribed his autograph on top here. That's another autograph I didn't count. And he did the same thing that he put on the card on an index card. Look at that. And not only that, look at this card. God bless you, sir. Let's say, I really liked all my teammates, because I asked him who his favorite teammates were. And I appreciated each one for their commitment to the game. When I first arrived in 1950, we had a lot of older players, and I was just happy to be there at that time. What a humble guy. Uh, but we weren't very good at all. I didn't get to spend much time with them as they were trying to get another year on their... I don't know. What is that, guys? See, something fit. My favorite player was my roommate and catcher, Smokey Burgess. Nice. We did everything together. We were, we, he was a Southern Baptist, and I was and are still members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I guess that's what that says. Um, we we complimented each other uh, our good habits and commitment to the game. Man, thank you, sir. I had to give him respect and read that. Guys, what do you think about the hall? That's Mr. Vernon Law's um, address. Like I said, $10 a fee. But I'm not even going to ask what anyone's favorites is because this got to be your favorites. Vintage coming back. Mr. Law, thank you, sir. Got a couple of points for the background. Guys, if you don't mind, hit that like button. That really helps out my channel. Think about subscribing. I do multiple channels. Oh, no, we don't. We do one channel. But multiple videos a week on TTMs like this, blaster battles, and product previews. Have a great weekend, guys. Johnny out.